Hold on now, son, for our work's far from done. As the ocean can only do so much, the rest, well, surely it's up to us to shoulder that burden, since we're the ones burning. Up all that fuel, can we be so cruel to leave it all to Mother Earth to clean up our mess? Ain't she got enough stress? And now for some feedback, this time from the ice, who from all that I've heard thinks we haven't been nice as we put out gas that in turn ends up trapped in the not so permafrost, causing it to melt like a thin slice of cheddar on a fat slab of beef. One of these gases is methane, and it's a shame because methane is even more of a pain than carbon. It's like we're starving for an even more odious greenhouse effect. And what's worse is that as the temperature rises, so too does the amount of methane that comprises our atmosphere. And it keeps on and on in a loop. But like I said, here's that feedback, mate. To curb the decay, we must learn of its ways and observe every day how it changes its play. For this, we need tools and methods and rules so we can see whether things are getting better. CO2 emissions, the game, the only one in which to level up is to be lame. Here come the hurricanes. Mona Loa goes the show. We pumped it up. Now we need to go a slow the keeling curve. We killing Earth, parts per million, painted in vermilion, blood splatter, thud, shatter. It won't end until we make amends. So tell your friends to tell their friends, and maybe then the curve will bend down, down down.